we're here today at Second Stride to take pictures of this wonderful animal. He's open for adoption. We're going to clean him up and you start just with a mane and tail comb and don't lightly knock off the dirt. Lightly. Don't dig in. When a horse nozzles you like this, a lot of people will get scared of it, but you don't have to. He's not trying to hurt you, he's just trying to check you out. A lot of people are worried about a horse moving their head a lot, but if he moves his head, his body stays still. One side. That's the best I can do with the mane and tail brush. So we move on to the soft brush. This puts the shine on. Then you can dig in with this one. Depending on the animal, of course. Most horses love to have their head rubbed, huh? Oh boy. Okay, so we took this halter off. Funky. And put this nice leather with the emblem of the second stride. Nice wide leather. Clean. So it shows up good. Huh, buddy? Huh? What a nice. Use a leather shank, which shows up better than a, a, ro a rope lead shank. I like to take my horses out with the shank underneath the halter. This is due to the horse's personality. The horse won't allow you to have him out of the stall with just this. You have to lead it around his nose. So, a horse that has a kind of a nasty personality, you take the shank, you run it around his nose like this, and hook it to the shank. Some people like to put it up here, to me, it's a little bit too aggressive. In his case, he's not aggressive. He's going to be a nice boy for us. <laughs> okay. All right, so flash break. Sometimes a horse will get a little spooky over it. And in his case, this is about as bad as they'll get those on. All right, it's all right. See? 
be. You gotta let them check it out. Once they know it's not gonna hurt them, and the flies aren't biting them, they say, give me a bath then. All right. All right, let's take this up for a picture. You give them a round. You find your spot. And you give them a little crank on the shank. It usually sets them right up. 